hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karen guys I'm throwing you guys today I'm doing the July tour yes I'm gonna take you guys in the garden and show you guys what are doing well what is no longer doing well yes guys so keep watching guys we are in the garden we start with the corn oh, guys we won't believe it the Japanese beetle are just destroying my plant let me show you how they look look at that every time like three times a day i come in the garden and i try to pick them up put them in 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 soap water oh they are just everywhere guys this is a corn i planted the beans in between guys i think i planted the beans too late because guess what the corn have grown so tall and look how the beans are short guys <laughs> so the the corn is shading the beans from the sun so i don't know if it's going to do well i think i planted it too late in between those beans in between the corn guys so look how tall those corns are they are really really tall yes guys really tall yeah down here i have my peppers these are my peppers they are producing too late these are the hot peppers this is like um habanero peppers they have struggled they are picking up now guys they are picking up some of these are still struggling yeah look at that yeah but they are picking up yep look at my jalapeno <laughs> guys my jalapeno look how small that 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 look how short that thing is but look at the peppers on it so much peppers guys so much yes guys so all these are pepper i have a lot of bear a lot of my hot pepper do not make it but my bear peppers they they make it they are everywhere they are everywhere this is my jute leaf i already harvest it and cook with it yeah all these my container have bear pepper they are doing so well i don't even know what this pepper is called but it's producing a lot a lot guys look at that the bear peppers are just producing so much while my hot peppers are suffering yes yeah i have my turnips it's covered with uh I, I don't know more whatever they call it look at that they are huge under here guys look how big they are in here look at that they are big in here yeah so i have still have my turnips then i have my green beans these are my green beans they started producing some flowers very soon i'll start to harvest green beans in here i still have some peppers I'm telling you guys my bear peppers they are the one producing big peppers why the other things are suffering this is bear pepper see all these buckets have bear peppers in there yes i have my my snappies right here they are dying off they are dry yeah i just let them dry off so i can have more seed for next year yep i have more peppers under there guys this bed i have my water leaf this is a bed i i planted water leaf i i harvested a lot of water leaf from my con uh, my containers I realize that water leaf were green there, so I harvest a lot. But look how they have grown. They have grown so well, guys. I'm going to harvest a lot of stuff today. So I think let's harvest this water leaf, guys. Guys, before I start to harvest the water leaf, I want to show you guys the water leaf that I tried to save. Guys, remember the video I told you guys I need to uproot all my water leaf and replant them? Guys, these are the water leaf. I succeeded yes guys those little tiny box do not win i win those little tiny box so these are the water leaves they are doing so great <laughs> lucky i did not give up guys yes this is how they are looking so i have two beds of water leaves so let's start harvest guys guys look how big those stems are it's a good thing because once i harvest them and i process this water leaf i'm going to plant all these stems i'm going to replant them water leaf grow faster when you plant the stems
guys i finished with this first bed right here i'm going to move to the second bed of what i leave Guys, I'm done with the water leaf. It's one big bowl of water leaf, guys. I'm grateful with it, guys. I'm grateful. Let's continue our tour. Yeah, I have my bed of lettuce. All my lettuce, they went to seed. Lettuce don't like heat, too much heat, guys. Yeah, I still have a lot of my bed pepper. All this container you guys see is all bed pepper. And there's a lot, guys. It's a lot on them. You won't believe it. Look how huge that one is. Yeah. <laughs> the bear pepper, they are doing so great this year, guys. Yeah, yeah, I have my my strawberry bed. This variety of strawberry just produce once and it's done. Yeah, so these strawberry are done. This is still the bed of water leaf I just harvest. Yeah, yeah, this side I have my I have my lettuce here. This is another the romaine purple it went to seed yeah on this bed yeah i have my umbrella sprout the cabbage worm guys are just doing their work but i think it has some little little brussels sprout on it i don't know if they are gonna grow bigger than that it's too hot already yeah the cabbage worm are doing their damage it's, it's just doing their damage guys yeah yeah my kale this is my kale you see all these cabbage worms have destroyed them even although i cover them guys look at that they have eaten all the leaves look how they are flying everywhere everywhere is this cabbage worm destroying my plants yeah i have my um ruba yeah they are, look how big they are guys huge huge they are doing so well yeah this bed i have my uh, um um parsley and a, a cilantro they went to seed i didn't know that the second year of this gladly parsley they go to seed even the cilantro everything went to see yeah i have my leeks i have leeks right here this uh, cilantro are covering them there i have my my bunching onions all this year is bunchy onions guys they are doing so great their colors are not even looking good but it's okay i still have bunchy onions in this other bed all these are bunching onions all this yes guys in this bed i have beets i have my beetroot here i always have problem growing beetroot guys always i don't know what i'm doing wrong Yes, but at least this year I have big ones. Oh, 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 oh. This year they have grown a little bit big, so they are not that bad. Yeah. Then I have my celery down here. All these are celery. Yep. Yeah, I have my oregano. Oregano, um, thyme. This is thyme right down here and i also have uh my uh, coily parsley the point the coily parsley one good thing about them they don't go to seed guys they don't go to seed my swiss chard i don't know there's a disease attacking the leaves this year i've struggled a lot with my plants guys a lot disease even you see my garden huckleberry as soon as i harvest it the second leaves are not good some disease is affecting the leaves so this is my garden huckleberry look at that i don't know guys this year i keep telling you guys it's different look at the leaves they just something eating the leaves making it like ho ho yellowish i've put I've, guys i've done everything this year oh. <laughs> yeah guys so let's continue our tour 
yeah i have my time i show you guys last time and i have no that's not time guys <laughs> that is uh meant yeah it's meant this is um my sage and this is my time i harvested last time they started growing back and i have my lemongrass right here yes so yeah then down here i have my bitter leaves i'm also going to harvest bitter leaves it will be my first harvest of my bitter leaf guys yes so this is my bitter leaf right here the sun is now very hot guys the sun came up <sighs> If I don't film now in the evening, I will not be able to film. People will just be passing, talking to me, greeting me. It had to film. So this is look how guys look how big those leaves are. These are the, the these ones are the we call it in Cameroon also like street bitterly, but they are bitter than the one I harvest last time and cook with it. This one is bitter than that one. We also have one that are very, very bitter. That one, the, that's the one Nigerians know. So when I show them this one, they're like, that is no bitter leaf. I say, uh uh. In Cameroon, we have three types of bitter leaf. The one the Nigerian know, and this one, and the other one I cooked with it last time. So these are bitter leaf, guys. So I'm going to have the bitter leaf now. Whew, it's hot. The sun came up. Guys, for me to have bitter leaf this year is by the grace of God. Any of my plan this year is by the grace of God. It was bad this year. So I'm harvesting a lot of stuff for the first time and late, but it's okay if I can have been one harvest. I'm grateful, guys. Yeah, I'm grateful. Look how big that is. Bitter leaf also can grow through the stems, so I'm going to try to plant these stems and see if it will grow. Yes, guys. It's very, very hot. waste nothing <laughs> you see some insects are also destroying it oops Guys, I'm done. That's a lot of bitter leaf. My first harvest. You guys can see that? It's a lot. Yep. Yeah, I'm so grateful. Let's continue our tour. After the bed of bitter leaf that I just harvest, this is the bed right here. The next bed is cabbage. Guys, my cabbage are ready to be harvested. Look at that. They are even going bad. Look. I need to harvest some of them today. 
Yeah, all this bed like this guys is cabbage. The red one are the purple one are still growing. Purple right there, but a lot of them guys are ready to be harvested. So all these beds are cabbage. So guys, let's harvest some cabbage too. Cabbage worms are destroying my cabbage here. Oh my goodness, this one, I've just let it go bad, guys. Look at that. Let this one go bad. Oh. Let's see now what to do with it. One of them are going bad in here. Okay, look at that. Oh, I wish I bring back. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've let them go too long. This one is perfectly fine, doesn't have any problem. And those other ones have let them go too long, they are going bad, guys. Maybe this one needed to grow more. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna leave the rest. I have like other I have like other four or five varieties of cabbage in here. Different type, this is another type. The cabbage worms are crazy, the cloth are going crazy in here. So these are the cabbage I harvested. I left a lot. I still have like more than halfway to harvest. Yes, a lot left in there. I'm just gonna let those who I think they need to grow more guys. Yeah. I have this side. The cabbage worm have destroyed everything. I even have my purple cauliflower right there. They have destroyed everything. I have my Brussels sprouts in here. They have just... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Everything is gone. I'm going to harvest one of these Brussels sprouts. I don't think there's, there's anything in there, guys. I think the cabbage worm, they got destroy everything. This is how it's looking. Let me cut the inside. It's not that bad, guys. I'm just gonna let it see if we'll grow more. Yes, I know cabbage one have done their own there, but I'll just let it see if it will grow more, guys. Closer to this, my Brussels sprout bed, I have um, my sweet bitter leaf I harvest last time. They started growing back again. 
right there. Yeah, they are coming back again. I also have basil in here. This is basil right here. I need to harvest them. They are going on flower. They are going to flower. I need to harvest them. Yeah. In this side, I have my sunflower. Look how tall they are taller than me, guys. Look how tall they are. I think maybe they are like I don't know what to say. Or uh, maybe like eight or nine feet tall. They are so tall. <laughs> Then this same bed I have this uh, sunflower I have green. I have my green here. They are not doing well. I harvest them. They are just turning yellow. I've put um, nitrogen. I've done everything this year. I'm just exhausted. Try to save some of my stuff. Yes, I still have more of those sunflowers. They are so tall, guys. Tall. Yeah, these ones, I don't know. They have not started shooting flower, but some of them have started. Yeah, some of them are started showing their flowers. This next bed right here, this line, this is where I have my garden eggs, guys. I have garden eggs in here. These are garden eggs. They are producing already. Let me show you guys. So you guys see some of it in there. These are the white Japanese um, garden eggs. I also have uh, the purple garden eggs. This is a purple one. They are producing also in here. I have a lot in here. And I also have the stripe one, the stripe garden eggs. I mentioned to the last tour last time that I planted this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I've destroyed some of my plants. This is a stripe garden. They are so tiny. I also have the African one. Let me show you guys that one. It's this other side. You see, it's in here. This is a round, like, round, round African type they are producing too. In here. I see some of it in there. Yeah, so I have three varieties of um, uh, eggplant, Africa's garden eggs. In here. So all these beds here is eggplant. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, I have my taro roots. I have my taro root right here. They started picking up now. And I have more sunflower here. These ones here. Let me show you. These ones here have now. See? They have now produced their flowers. Look how beautiful they are. The, my YouTube page post, you see this flower there. It's the one I grew last year and I took a picture. <laughs> That's my profile picture. Yes, they look so beautiful. This time I plant a lot of them. A lot, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I have my watermelon. These are all watermelon, guys. They started producing too a lot of watermelon in here. This is watermelon in here. This is another one. Right there. More, more, more. Watermelon, watermelon. You see there? There's more in there. There's a lot in here. You see more. So I have a, a lot of watermelon in, in here. I think I have, I can count like nine already. Nine watermelon. There's one more here. So all this place is watermelon, guys. They started doing well, producing a lot of watermelon. So I'm going to have a lot this year. Close to this watermelon here, right here, we have our cucumber. This is our cucumber. My first time succeeded to grow cucumber. This was, I, I thought this was the English one, but I don't know guys, it looks different. So this is it right here. I have a few already in here. So I have few that I matured already in here. A lot of them are in here. This is my first year succeed, succeeded to grow um, uh, cucumber. So I have a lot of small, small ones coming up, guys. A lot in here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's very tight in here. A lot of cucumbers in here. Yeah, this is my first year I succeeded to grow it. 
so much sunflower I plant so much this time guys all this is still them yes Whew, guys today is very hot yeah I have my fluted pumpkin this is my fluted pumpkin they were struggling they started growing yes look at that started picking up see they are crawling up now if I can even have even one harvest from it I'll be grateful so they started growing now a lot picking up they struggle a lot yeah I have my carrot this is my carrot I've been harvesting them cooking with them let me try to harvest one See, they have matured already. See, a lot of them have matured. So these are the carrots. Yep, they are matured already for me to harvest. I did not show you guys my grapes. These are my grapes. This one do not produce. These grapes I planted last year. The Japanese beetles are just destroying all the leaves. All the leaves. So these are my but they, are, they did so well. So well this year, guys. So well. Yeah, so these are all grapes. I showed you guys last time the one that produced. This one I planted this year. Let me show you guys. I planted this one this year. But just this year, guys. But look at the grapes on it. They have grapes on it, guys. If I knew, I should have bought a lot of it. In this same place, I have um, uh, cantaloupes. I don't know what's going on with them. They will go, produce a little cantaloupe, they will turn yellow and die. So I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if the bees are not doing their job. So I don't know. So yeah. Here we have, um, I have my apples here. This is a new apple tree I planted this year. This apple tree looks like it's, it's, it has disease a lot. This is the honey crisp, honey crisp apple. Yeah, it, has, it looks like I have a lot of disease. Then yeah, I have my Fuji apple. This year it gave me just three. I told you guys last video, three apples. These are the apples in here. Yeah, this is my Fuji apple tree. Then you, we have the red delicious this is a blessing here for me with this look at that look all the apples on that tree look all those apples guys all that is apple they gave me a lot of apples yeah a lot look all this is apple on this tree so much apple so i'm so grateful for all this apple you gave me so this is my red delicious apple I have my blackberries right here. It did not produce anything. I planted it this year. I have another yellow delicious apple. It did not produce this year close to my watermelon. Yes, I think this is all for this garden. I'll show you guys everything that's in this garden. Right now, I'm going to take you guys to my backyard garden. Yes, let's go to the backyard garden. So this is how the garden is looking here. Watermelon, yeah, apple. So all apples here. Yeah. yeah, a fluted pumpkin. So all this bed is this um, garden is doing. So I'm gonna take you guys to my backyard garden right now. Yeah. Let's go to that side. This video will be a long video. You guys just bear with me. My garden is big. This is my backyard garden. I this is the okra I showed you guys last time. Wasn't doing well. I uprooted all those okra and I replant the okra. And I think these ones are doing much better, guys. I also forget to tell you guys. Remember, I keep telling you guys that the soil that I ordered this year is a problem. Luckily, the company contacted me to ask how my things are doing because I'm a big customer. I order a lot. I told them what was happening. They came here, investigate this soil, and they told me it wasn't good. It wasn't good for my raised bed. So they gave me some new soil to test. So I added here on this bed that I have okra. These are all okra. 
and I planted a new okra there. They said that in six weeks time they will come and check how the other soil is doing. So, yeah, they, at least they were good to come here. They really drove and come here and investigate everything. The soil wasn't good. They themselves confirm it, guys. Yeah, this is my... These are my sweet potatoes. They have picked up. They are doing great in here. Did I see that? They are doing wonderful, these sweet potatoes. So these are all sweet potatoes in here. They have picked up. Yeah. Guys, I create another bed of garden huckleberry up in this backyard garden because the one down there just have this disease, just not doing well. So I, I throw some seeds. The seeds have germinate in here. There's a net in here trying to protect them from inside, but still they see it there. If you guys do, you see holes on the leaves it's very hard to protect your garden huckleberry from a box it's very hard guys here also i transplanted green kualalu the amaranth i transplanted some up here they are growing well in here yeah they are doing wonderful in here i need to harvest them but not today another day <laughs> because if i harvest them today i need to process them it's a lot of work for me guys yes yeah i have this second bed here i have this is all my potatoes these are all potatoes i think they are ready to be harvested some of them especially down here the leaves are all gone guys let's try to see if there's something in there let me try to harvest like this part that all the leaves are all dead let's try to harvest it and see what will come out of it then another day i'll make a video i'll harvest the whole thing guys then let's see what will be in there. This one. <laughs> Some baby potatoes in there. The leaves are all dead. I don't know. Those are very tiny. Yeah, this soil have too much clay. The raised bed soil they sold to me is too. They have too much clay. <laughs> Look at some of the clay. They came and investigated themselves. And look, it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, so it's not good. This can't really grow well in here. Look at that. These potatoes are going bad. Though. I have to make a harvest for all these potatoes here. This one where the seed I saved last year, this uh, red potato. The seed I the potatoes that I bought the seed are up there. From up there you have them, and I think those ones are gonna be huge, guys. Huge.
need to harvest these potatoes. They are going bad in here. Look at that little place. Gave me a full basket. Yes, I've harvested just the one that the leaves are dead. The rest, I'm going to make a video. We'll harvest all the other ones. The other ones are the seed potatoes I bought. The Yukon Go, Russell potatoes. <sighs> Is it canned back? Yeah, different, different type in there. We're going to make, I'm going to make a separate video from this. This bed was my bed that I planted some of my onions. I harvested all those onions. Yes, and uh, there are some here. The ones that they are doing a little bit good, I left them. These are some of the onions. There are big onions in there though. That are, some of it, have, now they are producing a lot of onions. I don't know if you guys can see that. I left this bed halfway. But I also have onion, um, more onions in here. This is another bed of onions. These ones are the ones that are producing too late. This is the Walla Walla onions. Then we have a lot of onions coming up, guys. So I think I'm going to have onions here. This bed is going to give me a lot of onions. As I can see a lot of onions in here. So much onions coming up in here, guys. So this is my other bed of onions. I thought I would be disappointed, but no. Yeah, they are giving me more onions, guys. More. Look at this one. I think this is the biggest onions I, I've seen in here. Let me show you guys this one. I think the biggest onions in here, even this one. They are coming up. Yeah. They are coming up. Yeah, I have my corn. I've suffered with this corn a lot. I'm sick of it. Put so much nitrogen, it's just doing its own thing. The uh, um, Japanese beetles are just destroying it. So yeah, we just have my two raised bed corn in here. I have my zucchini here. It's producing too. We have big ones, big zucchini in here. But the leaves are turning yellow. I don't know. I have my goosey here. The African egusi right here. Started producing too. I'm seeing some little balls, little pumpkin in there. Yeah. Then I have my beans, guys. These beans, I'm tired. I put nitrogen in there, it turns green, now it turns yellow. I'm sick of it. I have two beds of them. This other bed is green. At first, of, first this bed was yellow, now it's green. Then this one is yellow. <laughs> yeah, so these are all beans. <sighs> this year, that company, uh, they gave me a soil to try, so I tried up there was a very bad soil, it has so much clay, so when you plant it, it just compact. The roots can't really penetrate on the ground. So yeah, a lot of stuff has struggled. I have my tomatoes up here. My tomato this year, mm -mm. even their stems are so skinny. Yeah, tomato this year too, is a problem. But they are producing, especially the grape ones, 